Welcome back to the Old Municipal Library's Loving Letters. I'm Miss Dacia. I'm glad that you came back today. Now, are you ready to find out what letter we could possibly be learning about today? I am, but before we can do it, we need to say hello. Ready? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? How are you? You're just ready to go, right? Find out the letter, you say. Well, guess what I did? I dressed up our box. Isn't it fancy? It's covered in letters. And I'm ready to see what's inside. So let's find out. You ready? Here's a box and under the lid. <gasps> Did you see? There is a letter that is hid. Lift up the lid and you will see whatever letter it could be. Today's letter is an M, an uppercase letter M. And he brought a friend. He brought the lowercase letter M too. I like the letter M because it always makes me think of something yummy. Because when you say yum, mm, you're making that M sound. Mm, muffins are marvelous and yummy, aren't they? Mmm, M. So when you're saying M, watch my lips. They're going to disappear. Mmm. I put them together and I kind of mmm, hum a little. Hum has an M at the end. Did you hear it? Hum. Yum. Mmm. Are you ready to make, to sing a song about the letter M? Ready? M says mmm. M says mmm. Did we decide on what animal we were going to do? No, we didn't. Well, let's think about it. It could be a moose. It could be a squeak, squeak, mousy. It could be, well, it could be that muffin we talked about earlier, couldn't be. What do you think we should do? Kind of like the antlers. Let's do a moose. You ready? M says mmm. M says mmm. Moose. Moose. Mmm. 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 It's a fun one, isn't it? I do like it. It's always good to sing about the letter M. But if you're ready, let's read a book. This one has two really important M's in it. See if you can figure out what M's I might be talking about. Here we go. Today's book is The Mouse Who Ate the Moon. It's by Petter Horik. One evening, little mouse peered out of her hole. She was looking at the moon. The moon is so beautiful, she said, as she settled down to sleep. I would love to have my very own piece of the moon. The next morning, when Mouse woke up, she saw something that she had never seen before. A piece of the moon had fallen from the sky. <gasps> my wish has come true, she cried. Is that a moon? It is moon-shaped, isn't it? Little Mouse ran to get a closer look at her piece of the moon. It, it smelled delicious. Mmm. Perhaps I can eat it, said Little Mouse. It smells so good. I'll just have a tiny nibble. And she took a tiny bite. And then another. 
and another and just a tiny bit more until she had eaten half of it. Oh no, cried Little Mouse. Now the moon won't be round anymore. What's the matter, Little Mouse? asked Rabbit. I've eaten some of the moon, said Little Mouse. And now it won't be round anymore. Nobody can eat the moon, said Rabbit. Well, I just did, said Little Mouse. Little Mouse walked past Mole's house. What's the matter? asked Mole. I've eaten the, some of the moon, said Little Mouse, and now it won't be round anymore. Nobody can eat the moon, said Mole laughing. Well, I just did, said Little Mouse. Little Mouse sat in her hole, sadly, looking at the remains of the moon. It began to get dark, and then she heard Rabbit and Mole. Little Mouse, come out, they said. We want to show you something. Little Mouse followed Rabbit and Mole to the top of the hill. They sat and looked out at the starry sky. Beautiful. Slowly, something shiny appeared behind the trees. Do you know what it is? It was the moon. It was big and it was round. Little Mouse was overjoyed. Look at the moon, she cried. I haven't eaten it after all. So Rabbit, Mole, and Little Mouse sat under the stars and ate the other half of Little Mouse's moon. It was delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And the big moon lit up the sky behind them because really, nobody can eat the moon. end. Now, pretty silly of Little Mouse. What was she eating? A banana? Mm -mm -mm. They are yummy. Okay, this one is about a bouncing mouse. When I say bounce, you can bounce your hand like I'm going to, or you can bounce up and down all by yourself. You ready? Here we go. Bounce, bounce, squeak. Bounce, bounce, squeak. There's a bouncing mouse. He's in my house. He's been here for a week. He came from out of nowhere and quickly settled in. I'm thankful that he came alone. I heard he had a twin. He bounces in the kitchen. He bounces in the den. He bounces in the living room. Look. There he goes again. The mouse just keeps on bouncing every minute of every day. Bounce, 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 but he doesn't bounce away. Silly, right? Did you bounce? Did you need to? Well, if you needed to bounce, I bet you need to do some up rhymes. Are you ready? Let's do some bouncing. Well, Let's do some rhymes that get us up on our feet. This one is gonna take us to the moon. Are you ready to go to the moon? If you are, can you do this? Yeah, here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Ready? Get into your crouch. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Nicely done. While we're on the moon, we should do a rhyme 
or song. We could do one about Martians, but they don't live on the moon. They live on Mars. But maybe, maybe there's a monster on the moon? Are you ready? Monster galore, monster galore, monster galore, can you roar? Roar! Monster galore, monster galore, monster galore, can you soar? You ready? Here we go. Nice. Monster galore, monster galore, monster galore, shut the door. Ready? Big shot. Good job. Monster galore, monster galore, monster galore, fall to the floor. Do you remember I shut the door last week? Yeah? Let's do that one. Because we had to shut the door in the last one too. Are you ready? Here we go. I shut the door and I lock it tight and I put the key right out of sight. I find the key to open the door and I turn and I turn and I turn some more and then I open the door. Creak! I shut the door and I lock it tight and I put the key right out of sight. I find the key to open the door and I turn and I turn and I turn some more and then I open the door. Creak! Nice. Okay, Are you ready to read a story? Well, let's do one more rhyme that sits us back down. Are you ready? Here we go. Do you want to go with me up to the moon? We'll get into your rocket ship. We'll blast off soon. Faster and faster. We'll reach to the sky. Isn't it fun to be able to fly? We're on the moon now. Let's take a look. Now, are you ready for me to read you a book? I'm ready to read you a book. Here we go. This book is called Too Many Moose. It's by Lisa M. Bacos, and the pictures are by Mark Chambers. When Martha decided she must have a pet, she marveled and mulled over what she should get. But much of the choices made Martha quite glum. Instead of magnificent, they were only drum and just as it seemed like it might be no use she made up her mind that she must have one moose. The mailman delivered her new moose midday. She signed with an M and they both marched away. They shared an umbrella. They sipped maple tea. They carved hearts and M's on a mulberry tree. They went to the movies they shopped at the mall. They both got a manicure, polish and all. My moose is so marvelous, Martha declared. Not much could match up when her moose was compared. So Martha, quite merrily, ordered one more. Two moose. And one more. And one more. Until she had four. The mailman delivered her new moose midday. She signed with an M, and they all marched away. They hummed mirthful music. They made lemonade. They modeled some masks for a moose masquerade. They chomped on some crumpets with marmalade jam. They put on their swimsuits and swimmingly swam. My moose is so marvelous, Martha declared. Not much could match up when her moose was compared. So Martha quite merrily ordered one more, and one more, and one more, like she had done before. What? That's a lot of moose! The mailman delivered 
her new moose midday. She signed with an M, and they all marched away. They munched macaroni. They practiced some math. They mixed up some mud pies. They jumped in a bath. They baked homemade muffins from morning till noon. They mumbo till midnight by beams from the moon. My moose is so marvelous, Martha declared. Not much could match up when her moose was compared. So Martha quite merrily ordered one more and one more and one more as she had done before. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is a lot of moose. The mailman delivered her new moose midday. She signed with an M and they all marched away. The more moose, the merrier, Martha exclaimed. There's much more to moose than the catalog claimed. Seems Martha was smitten. What, mo what marvelous luck. Till one day, most all, of her moose ran amok. They misplaced her mittens, they muddied her dress. They used most of Martha's shampoo, more or less. They misused her markers, they smashed Martha's mums. They minced Martha's homework and left only crumbs. They messed with her marbles, they tumbled her cake. More moose were most certainly quite a mistake. So Martha proclaimed that the moose must go back. She wrapped up some muffins and helped them to pack. The mailman arrived to collect them midday. She signed with an M. All but one marched away. My moose is so marvelous, Martha declared. Not much could match up when her moose was compared. That's a pretty marvelous pet, moose. I didn't think there was all that to a moose, did you? No. There were so many M words in that book. It was almost like doing a tongue twister. M, 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 lots of M words. But there's lots of other letters in the alphabet, right? Let's do the ABC song. Grand Old Duke style. Do you remember we've been practicing? To do that, let's get the Grand Old Duke of York in our head. So we should sing that one first. Here we go. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Is that tune in your head? Let's use it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. It's kind of tricky. Are you getting better? Well, it doesn't matter which alphabet song you use. As long as you practice singing them, let's sing the, tr the normal A, B, sing song. Now, are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? Beautiful. I quite like that song. Okay, we're at that part of the program where we get to do something out of our activity box about learning the letter M. Today, I'm going to show you that mouse. You see how on that sheet, there's uppercase and lowercase letter M's? See them? Now, if you're more advanced, you might want to do that one, or you could do both. Today, that's what we're going to work with. So look for those and <gasps> pom-poms. Here we go.
Oh, what a marvelous mess. Today I have uppercase letter M's on my outline of a mouse, and I have lowercase letter M's. And I'm gonna use pom-poms instead of something like um, bingo daubers to cover them up. Because with pom-poms, I can do it and do it and do it again. I'm going to make it so that my little lowercase m's are covered by little pom-poms. And my uppercase m's have those big pom-poms. So I can sort by size lowercase m and uppercase m. Oh, he grabbed on. And I can do it and do it and do it again. I can use my favorite colors, or if I don't care, because I have so many to choose from, I can do it as any color I want. This one, with so many other shapes, like O, that we've already done, or D, then I'm not gonna cover those. I'm going to cover just my M's today. And right now I'm gonna cover just my lowercase m's so I can see them all. Did I get them all? Do you see one more? No? Nope. Okay, now I'm going to cover, using those big pom-poms again, my uppercase m's. M, M, there's an M. Did I find them all? Oh, you're so smart. You're right. There's another one. Did I get them all now? Sharp eyes you have. One more. Now my mouse has no more M's that I can see, but he's pretty colorful, I think. This is a good one for learning and matching. And I can choose to do it again and again and again, because it's always fun to play with. Pom-poms. Okay, we're at that time in the program where we get to turn the uppercase M and the lowercase M into something. We could turn them into monsters or moose, or like in our books, a mouse. What do you think we're gonna turn them into? Let's find out. Okay, if you're ready, we're going to take a look at our lowercase letter M craft. We have a white piece, two pink pieces, this skin color piece, and two brown ones. So, let's get cutting. You ready? Here we go. Okay, cut, cut, cut. See, I've sped up time again so things can, you can see all the pieces and what we're going to do. My helper hand is busy turning, turning, turning the page as I cut. And I'm trying to keep my hands pointed the right way and I will just keep piling and moving my scraps aside. And that's it. Cut all the pieces and I'm ready to assemble. Now, I glue that lowercase m on the back in the middle and on the top two arches and then a circle on each of the two round bits on the top guess what it is uh, i think you know pink ones inside those brown circles and then oh there goes a nose and one two eyes and oh, my lowercase m became a lowercase m mouse squeak squeak Pretty cute, huh? And now here we go. Okay. This is my uppercase M. In your box, my uppercase you M has lots of all pieces. Of the you found to make your all uppercase in letter. I have the M. M. And there's some black, I have some a white, black piece, dark brown, some and brown a light pieces, brown. and a beige piece. Ready? And we're gonna Let's cut these ones up too. Cutting. Are you ready? Here we go. Cut, cut, cut. And remember, start at the ends and point your scissors inwards for those points. It's easier than trying to turn your scissors inside. Around and round, and cut. Now this one, 
I'm going to cut the end of the, of the points off first and then come back in and use like a V cut to cut all of those pointy bits around and around and around and then with fine little V cuts I can cut the pieces that are hard on those hmm, weird weird little brown shapes. Don't forget to cut that one little tiny peach one and now we're gluing. I'm just going to glue on the inside part on the back of my M and it creates that black cave-like piece. My whites become snow and all I have left are those weird brown looking things and I'm going to overlap them right on top of each other. One, two, three. Oh, I think you know what we've made. It's a, a bear My in a cave M under the mountains. Mountain. Good job. Wow, you did it. You turned the uppercase M into a mountain with a teeny tiny little bear in a cave in there. Do you see him? Yeah. And the lowercase m into a mouse. Squeak, squeak. They're pretty cute. You did a great job. You ready? Hands up high, hands down low. Hide those hands now, where'd they go? One hand up, the other one, two. Clap those hands, one and two. Ready? Hands up high, hands down low. Hide those hands now, where'd they go? One hand up, the other one, two. Swing those hands, one and two. Oh, I love the swinging, it always feels so good. Ready? Hands up high, hands down low. Hide those hands now, where'd they go? One hand up, the other one two. Wave those hands because now we're through. I hope you had fun learning about the letter M. I did. And I hope I see you next week where we're going to learn about something slippery. Do you know what letter that could be? Well, I'll see you next week and we'll find out. Bye-bye for now.